So today we shall discuss one very important aspect of uh, today's, that is uh, environment. As you know, we are suffering from different crises in the environment, and according to your curriculum, we are here to discuss something about the environment. Okay? Especially today we shall discuss some issues, environmental issues related to the, related to the human civilization. These issues are related to survival of the living organisms. So before going to discuss these environmental issues, we should know what is environment. Do you have any idea about environment? What do you mean by environment? Environment will call it more like a key Any idea? Please, any idea? Environment? Actually, the word environment is coming from Greek language. And the meaning of environment, actually, this environment word is derived from the Greek word environment. The meaning of environment is surroundings. Surroundings of a particular area is known as the environment of a particular area. Surroundings of this polyabor college is known as environment of polyabor college. Thus, surroundings of a particular area, a condition of high sofa for high, condition, that condition is known as the environment of that particular area. This environment word is a comparative word. It may be a very smaller one, and it may be in the global context. We can say this is the environment of the village, this is the environment of the college, and this is the environment of the world. It is a, it is a relative term. Okay? It is a relative term. We can use it in very smaller sense, and we can use, we can use it in very big context, that is, in world context. Okay? As you know, Environment is the surroundings of a particular area, and in that particular surroundings, two basic components are there. Some living things are there, and some non-living things are there. Both these living and non-living things, that is factors, together form the environment. Okay? So environment means surroundings of the particular area. Surroundings means the living organisms and the non-living organisms residing in that particular area, all these things together we term as environment. Okay? Those organisms, those matters that are living in nature, they are known as biotic factors. And all the non-living matters are known as abiotic factors. So simply, biotic and abiotic factors together from the environment of a particular area. Okay? And they have some interaction. They have some communication, interaction among biotic and abiotic factors. So these biotic factors, abiotic factors, and their interactions, all these things together form the environment of a particular area. Okay? So these are interdependent. Living things and non-living things, these are interdependent. Okay? We cannot survive. Living things cannot survive without abiotic factors. Again, the biotic factor, that is all the living components of a particular area can be divided into different categories. Okay? Particularly depending upon the food habit. We can classify the organisms in different classes. Producer, consumer, decomposer, etc. etc. Producer means those organisms that they can produce their food. Okay, they can produce their food. As they can produce, that is why we term them as producer. But there are some organisms in this world that they cannot produce, but they can consume. Only. For example, with a human. Okay? We can consume, but we cannot produce. Okay? That is why we are consumer. From whom we can consume? We consume from the plant. Okay? So we are the example of consumer, and plants are the example of producer. Again, this consumer may be of different categories. Primary consumer, secondary consumer, tertiary consumer, so and so. Primary consumer means those organisms that directly feed on plants. Directly depend upon the plants for their food. 
they are known as primary consumers. And some organisms are there, they do not eat green plants directly, but indirectly they are getting the required materials from the plants. These are known as you secondary consumers, for example, you tiger, lion, all the carnivorous organisms. And some very microbes, very small organisms are there. And they decompose the dead matters of producers and consumers. The dead bodies of producers and dead bodies of consumers, they decompose. There are certain organisms for decomposing this. They decompose these dead bodies of producer and consumer. And finally, mixing all these substances, they have they bear with the, they mix all these substances to the soil. These microbes that they decompose the dead matters or dead bodies of producer and consumers are known as your decomposer. Some microbes are there which are known as your decomposer. This way, we can divide the living organisms into different categories, that is, producer, consumer, decomposer, etc., etc. And all these categories, that is, producer, consumer, and decomposer, they are well maintained in the environment. They are well maintained. There are the good relationships. There are the interlock, the same like relationships. Okay? Producer will produce food. Consumer will consume from the producer. Again, decomposer will decompose the organic matters in the soil. From soil, again, producer will collect the required materials. So there is a balance there. There is an equilibrium there. But sometime, somehow, it may be due to the natural phenomena. It may be due to the ill practices of human being. This balance may be broken down. Once this balance, what kind of balance? The balance of this food sale, the balance of this producer, consumer, decomposer relationship, if this balance is broken down, then some crisis may be appear. And some threatening, threatening may be coming to human beings. And nowadays, these are happening. And that is why we are here, here to make ourselves aware about the important issues of the environment. Okay? Can you follow my point? So come to the point. In all, actually, what happened, there are three basic things for living organisms. Three basic things for living organisms are there. These are food, cloth, and habitat. Okay? Okay? Are you agree with me? Actually, it is not my opinion. It is a common practice. It is a common conception that these are the basic necessity or basic things of human being. That is food, cloth, and habitat. In olden time, people were satisfied with the mere fulfillment of these basic needs. They got food, they got shelter, they got clothes. Okay. But in course of time, by the time passes out, the desire of people become more and more and largely become the center point of human life. Right now, we have food to eat, we have clothes to wear, and we have house, we have home to reside. But are you satisfied with these things only? No. So many luxurious things we are having. So many luxurious things are surround, sur surrounding us. Okay? Right from your cell phone, right from your LED TV, right from your internet accessibility, accessibility. So and so. So many luxurious things are nowadays available in the market. But these are not basic things. These are the luxurious, luxurious things. But nowadays, we are coming away from basic things and we are concentrated. We are concentrating our lifestyle to some luxury. And to fulfill this luxury, to meet the luxurious desire of men, different industries have come, in the, come to the light in all, of, all of, around the world. Okay? So we need some mobile phone, we need some color TV, we need some washing machine, we need some microwave oven, we need some so and so, different kinds of electronic devices, different kinds of electronic, electrical devices, different kinds of mechanical devices we are using. And to develop and to manufacture all these products, a large number of gigantic industries are 
develop in and around the world. Okay? Ultimately, one thing, one important thing we have to think, we have to discuss. Day by day, people, the population is increasing. Okay? Day by day, population is increasing in geometric crap. But the, at the same time, one important thing is sinking, decreasing. What is this? That is cultivable land. Okay? Population is increasing. Cultivable land is decreasing. And to meet the demand of the increasing population, to meet the demand of the increasing population, what we do? We deforested the forested area. We deforested the jungles. Okay? To meet our demand. And ultimately what happened? Some imbalance, some imbalances are developed. Okay? As a result, some crises are start to come in. Okay? Some crises are start to come in to the environment, then globe. So with the increases of industries and the evil behavior of some women, the human civilization are marching towards the path of destruction. Now we are facing some crisis, and these crises are leading to the destruction of human civilization. Okay? Would you like to say, would you like to see some or view some such crisis? See. This is the common situation of world nowadays. Earlier, in particular areas on the flood problem were there. But nowadays it is a common practice, it is a common view of the world. It may be in China, it may be in India, it may be in USA, whatever. Everywhere flood problem is there. It is a crisis because a tremendous economic, tremendous human life loss is there in the flood. Every year, an uncountable number of living organisms have been passed away. You see, the helplessness, not helplessness of human beings. You see, once upon a time there is a big forest in that particular area, but now, and right now, the scenario of the particular is this. Why? Deforestation. You see, that particular area ultimately it will convert it into some desert. This is the surface in the coastal region due to the water pollution in the ocean. A large number of sea fishes are now fighting for the life. You see, this is the scenario of Gulf countries. Oil players in the ocean leads to the destruction of a large number of sea fishes. The problem, the question is this, why this crisis? What kind of activities lead to the this crisis? One important factor for this is deforestation. Knowingly or unknowingly, to meet our desire, to meet our demand, a large number of forest, a large area of forest annually deforested by human beings. And there is a direct relationship of the environmental balance and the plants. With the loss of this forest, we are start to facing different problems. You see, for industrialization, large area is deforested. It is the scenario of China. You see, open cast mining leading to the deforestation of a large area. This is the plastic pollution, a huge number of plastic bottles. Industrial effluence. To meet our desire, to fulfill our demand, a large number of industries have been developed. And all these industries are developing some byproducts, chemical substances, which are poisonous. 
And these are freely released to the cultivation cultivator land or rice field or river, etc. Ultimately, this may lead to the crisis. Nuclear pollution. Nowadays, every country is are performing some nuclear experiments. And in this nuclear experiment, a large number of nuclear materials, apart from nuclear materials, though they are demanding that no nuclear materials are disposed or no nu nuclear materials are released from this industry. But the smoke, but the other things released from this area, creating a panic situation in that particular area where these nuclear stations are located. You see, these are the picture of nuclear activities. Just 10 years back or 15 years back, in a situation of, um, like Assam, in a place, uh, particularly in uh, places like Assam, there is only one or two vehicle in a village. Even in some villages, there was no any vehicle. But today, you see, in every household, in every family, at least one car is there one bike is there. Some families are there, they have five members, but they have six or seven vehicles. That is, number of vehicles exceeds the number of family members. Ultimately, this will release a huge amount of carbon monoxide to the air. And besides, the horn, the sound released by these vehicles create a terrible situation in the environment. But these things are happening but no serious thinking was there to prevent these things till 1972. These activities are, have been continuing for a long time, but till 1972 there was no any serious thinking to prevent these activities. But in the year 1972, United Nations Conference was established by the United Nations General Assembly. And there was a conference from 5th to 16th June 1972 to make the aware of the world about the environment. And since then, that is from 1973, the 5th June is celebrated as World Environment Day. So that people of the world can be made aware about the environmental issues or protection of environment. So, this is the history of World Environment Day. That is, it was started. We started to celebrate World Environment Day from 1973. Why? Because in 1972, the first serious thinking, first organized thinking about the environmental awareness was started. And from the 1973, 5th June, officially the World Environment Day has been celebrated. Okay. So, but the main objective of celebrating this World Environment Day. They is to aware, make the people aware about the different issues of the environment. And different country, in every year, different country organizing this World Environment Day. All the people of the world organizing the World Environment Day, but even the United Nations organization, centrally, officially, they also organize the World Environment Day every year. And every year, they select some countries and they select some teams. And with the particular team, some particular cities house the World Environment Day. So these are some messages, these are some motto, these are some themes. Every year some themes are there and at that particular year awareness, awareness is made on this particular theme. For your kind information, this year, that is in 2015, the motto or the theme of Environment Day is 7 billion people, one planet, consume with care. This year, the World Environment Day was celebrated in the Milano city of France. And the theme of that this year, the theme of the World Environment Day of this year is 7 billion people. That is, we have 7 billion people in the world. We have 7 billion dreams, but we have only one planet. So we are to consume with care. Whatever we are with, with we consume, we should consume with care. Because food was there, water was there, soil was there, everything is in serious condition. So what is we consume? What we consume, we should consume with care. This is the theme of this year. Okay? Last year, the theme was 
raise your voice, not the sea level, that is global warming. In 2013, the theme was Think, Eat and Save. This way, everywhere in the United Nations have been organizing World Environment Day with some specific themes. And they advise or they hand over their responsibility to particular countries or particular cities to organize the, to celebrate the World Environment Day. All these things are done to make the people aware of the environmental issue, environmental crisis. So far, since 1973 to 2015, every year, some, every year, some different themes are there. Every, some different theme, theme means some different crises. There are so many crises we are facing now. And we have to make the people aware about this crisis. So, a large number of crises we are facing nowadays. But one important crisis is global warming. So do you have an idea about global warming? Climatic science. It is a frequently published word in the electronic print media. It is a frequently discussed matter in the electronic media. It is a frequent discussing matter among the people. That is climatic science, global warming. So do you have an idea about global warming? This is the biggest issue of the world now. So you see, in the history of 650,000 years, that is, this is the creation of our origin of life in the earth. Up to 1950, carbon dioxide, you see, there is a mine, there, there is a line, 300 parts per million ppm. There is a unit ppm. That is, if we want to measure the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, the unit is ppm. So, till 1950, the carbon dioxide in environment was below the 300 ppm. But after 1950, gradually it's rising and rising and rising and rising and rising. And nowadays, you cannot imagine what is the situation of the environment, what is the situation of the atmosphere. Why this 